and welcome back. Today we're going to be making another classic cocktail from a hundred years ago called Blood and Sand. It was named after a Valentino movie in the early 20s and it's made with scotch. Scotch, as many of you know, don't typically mix well or play well with other ingredients, but this one works out really, really well. A bit. I'm changing the amounts of the ingredients from the original to one I saw in another recent cocktail book. And the one uh, different thing I am using is blood orange, of course, because it looks like blood. Um, and these are a little bit more sweeter than regular oranges. They come from California now. Back in the previous century, like in the 1990s, you couldn't find blood oranges. You had to buy them the frozen puree from Italy. So this is a very simple cocktail to make. Start with a shaker of fresh, clean ice, and we want one ounce of blood orange juice or any kind of orange juice. We want an ounce of blended scotch. Three quarters of an ounce of cherry herring or cherry marnier and three quarters of an ounce of either, uh, three quarters of an ounce of anything like sweet vermouth. It could be sweet vermouth. I'm using Dubonnet Rouge because it lasts longer in the refrigerator. Now it's simple. Just shake. Make sure that's tight. And once that, once that gets so cold that you can't even hold it anymore, that's where you want to be at. Chilled cocktail coupe with a speared cherry. Let's get our strainer. And there you have it. Let's give it a taste. I haven't had one in literally a couple of years. And I actually found this one from Vintage Spirits and Forgotten Cocktails by Ted Haig. So let's give it a sip, see what it tastes like. I haven't had one in a few years, so let's see if my tastes have changed. It's a good cocktail. Um, it's sweet. You really can't detect the scotch. You know something's in there, but you know it's not rum and you know it's not gin. Cheers.